What's up everybody, it's Trevor back with Seekar and Design and this is how you do a rear deck or bumper extension on your school bus tiny house. So of course your first step is to remove your bumper. Um, sometimes it can be easy, sometimes it can be hard. Second, you're gonna assess your original brackets, see what the condition is like, mine were in good condition. So we're gonna reuse these. We're gonna cut them off and basically put them on our extensions. We're extending our bumper out three feet. Um, we're comfortable with three feet and one thing you really have to watch out for is tail swing. So you don't wanna go out too far, but I feel like three feet gives you enough space. So we've got everything mocked up for our welding and our tacking. Um, we're gonna add some reinforcements and we're gonna add some nuts and bolts just for safety. We'll cut holes in the frame and um, add those bolts. So we went with quarter inch C-channel. Uh, quarter inch C-channel is basically what the frame is made out of. It's just a bigger version, but it is quarter inch. So we want to match that strength. Also, before welding on your project, disconnect your batteries just to be safe. I'm just holding it in place, getting it tacked up, just so I can kind of get a feel for it. I added a three inch space at the bottom and I'm gonna add another at the top. And then I'm gonna drill holes and add some bolts. Cut off the uh, original bumper bracket and we're gonna add that to the end of our C channel. All right, so now it's time to just tack everything up, get it set in place and level. So these are your bumper mounts that were originally on the frame and we cut that off and now we're adding it to our C channel. Then we're gonna attach the bumper to the end of these. You might need help attaching the bumper. One person can do it, but it's better with help. I'm using square tubing to kind of frame out my deck area and this will be what I attach my wood to. Just kind of using some miscellaneous pieces I had laying around. These wells aren't the prettiest, but this is gonna be covered up. I'm just kind of speeding through this part. If they're strong enough, they'll hold it. Now we're just gonna hit everything with a black coat of primer. I mounted a little refrigerator basket in there uh, just for storage down the line. Now we're gonna do our side skirts. Uh, this is one inch, 14 gauge C channel. So you see this on like staircases or like prefab buildings, but it fit perfectly. I just kind of tacked it up. Some people don't add these, but I think they look a lot better with it. All right, then I'm gonna go back, fill in some holes, fill in some gaps, grind your wells down, make everything look as smooth as possible. Then come back, hit it with a coat of primer. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go back with a black bumper, so I, uh, I chose a lighter primer. All right, so this is what it looks like with the primer. Now it's finally time to add our wood. So I decided to go with pre-stained Douglas fir 2x4s. Uh, I pre-cut a few of these just to kind of see how it would look. Be mindful when you're cutting them. The bumper does have a slight curve, so each board is going to be different. I used a chalk line so all my screws would be in a straight line. And I'm using 3-inch self-tapping tech screws. All right, so here it is. This is a semi-finished product. Uh, it'll get a final coat of paint down the line once I paint everything, but I'm really pleased with how it came out. Uh, it's a good amount of space, good amount of storage, 
perfect for just hanging out. So I'm pleased with it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment any questions you have below. Thanks for watching.